Hi everyone, welcome back to Iron Destiny Props. I'd like to share with you some of the new mod features I'm offering on the Luca New Hope Graflex. This is a commission by Jesse of Kyberphonic Sound Fonts, and he approached me to build this hilt with all the accuracy mods. For this vintage Fulmer non patent Graflex, we went with a vintage Xactor 20 bubble strip, and I cut it a little longer on this side so it could protrude a little past the edge of the clamp like what seems to be seen on the original hilt. Fortunately, since this clamp has a slightly larger inner diameter than most, it allows these clamp bars to be drawn closer together in an accurate fashion, and it also allows for the slight protrusion of the lever pin screw with the missing square washer on the opposite side. This larger than usual rivet head I've known about on the real prop for some time, and uh, you can see in one of the reference photos quite distinctly uh, the size of the head is much larger than the Fulmer and even the larger ink style head. So if the real prop ever services, uh, this detail would be a tell of it being the original. Another detail we decided to do on Jesse's hilt is this RAF military stamp. Now, this is the first attempt I've made at doing this accuracy mod, and uh, I used the Chronicle's reference photo to create a highly accurate arrangement of the characters in order to have a custom steel stamp made. I also created a 3D stamp guide which allows me to position the stamp in the correct spot on the bar to get an accurate stamp every time. I chose not to include the 6-3 that uh, we have seen comes after the backslash on Ian's Fulmer on the RPF. Um, I'm not seeing those numbers present on the original hilt. Um, they may be there, but uh, it seems there is a scratch of some sort that is obscuring it in the reference photos. This hilt is the second opportunity I've had to install the grips according to Roy's March 2021 updated blueprint. After a few subtle modifications to the placement of the grips according to the reference photos, I created a custom grip guide that allows me to achieve consistent grip placement with each install. I also found profile shots of each grip in the reference photos which allow me to cut the exact bevel for each grip end. Here we have the four handle rivets with glued on heads and painted mandrel holes to give the illusion of being popped and riveted. And this is the first opportunity I've had to use Roy's updated D-ring clip he designed to match the new reference photo of the pommel. Due to the blurriness of the photo, I wouldn't say this is 100% accurate, uh, but based on the info we currently have, I think this is a much more accurate option, and uh, Roy's positioning of it on the bottom was very faithfully accomplished. Many thanks to Jesse of Kyberphonic Sound Fonts for this great commission. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and follow me on social media. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.